Vladita Pavlovia is the crane operator at Smederevo Steelworks. For 34 years, he has seen all the ups and downs of this old steel factory. Smederevo Steelworks was founded in 1913. After it went bankrupt in 2003, it was sold to U.S. Steel for 23 million U.S. dollars. Serbia bought it back in 2012 when an investor from the United States withdrew. After the departure of U.S. Steel, the country was looking for a new investor. The company's 5,000 workers were sent on paid leave until April 2013, when the furnaces of the steel mill started operating again, but with limited capacity. HBIS was the sole competitor at the tender, which finished on April 6, and bought the factory for 46 million euros. When we signed contract with China in April, I'm on the scene when the president of Steel promised that they would improve working environment and will start a furnace to increase output. I hope it will be realized. I hope it could be realized. For the 5,000 workers at the factory, China's purchase was like timely rain. Years of substantial loss was like the sword of Damocles to the hard-working people here as well as a hot hit to Serbia's economy. This is a great day. To all the staff in Smederova, your wait has not been in vain. All of your years living in uncertainty. All of the sleepless nights thinking about how to feed your family. Last year and the year before last year, we have only one furnace which even shut down from time to time. The income is very low. Now the two furnaces are all running. We hope that our life would be improved after this. The director of the steelworks says that when the factory met financial and technical problems and continued its losses, the workers continued to be paid. Uh, they canceled, I will tell you, we restarted the second blast furnace and they canceled their vacations. They said they will go on vacation, they will take a rest only after the second blast furnace operated well. Stability and future, this, these are the two things they didn't have uh, until now. They knew that the Prime Minister supports this factory and will give his heart for the factory, but they didn't have the financial and technical stability in front of them. Now they have a future. Now they know that not only them, but also their children may be. Not only a business trade, about 5,500 workers were helped by the purchase. Their skill and hard work can now push the factory to even greater heights. In fact, we showed our point of view when, during the purchase, we didn't regard the workers from Smederevo as a burden, because it's a professional team with lots of experience. They're very valuable to us. When Chinese companies carry out overseas mergers and acquisitions, we should never do it simply to change the fate of local people. Even if we own the company itself, we don't hold its future. He Steel Chairman Yu Yong said that the company plans to increase its annual overseas revenue by 30 percent by 2018 to 20 billion U.S. dollars per year, 57.5 percent higher than in 2014. The group owns holdings in around 70 foreign companies in more than 100 countries and regions. It has the most advanced equipment and the cleanest steel manufacturing process. I visited Tank Steel and I couldn't believe my eyes. Uh, technically, it's so much more advanced than this plant that I don't think we could have found a better buyer than has steel. As China's biggest steel company, Chinese first steel group has its international target and layout. The purchase will help raise employment and boost profit as global steel assets drop in value. It may also serve to promote economic development in local areas. Cizia CCTV is Medarovo, Serbia.